Hey guys, this video. I'm going to be showing you how I do the goals that I usually make my video, and how I think, how I play, my thought process. So, I'm going to start off um, easy. Well, wait, they're not easy. Okay, um, I'm gonna start off easy. And first, this goal. I usually do. Most people know it, but I'll explain it just in case. So basically, you're gonna get up to the line, or behind, like that. Like, kinda like, say so you're standing on the line, or right behind it. And you can curve a ball left. If you're over here, you curve it left usually. If you're on the right side, you curve it right. Basically, all you're doing is aiming towards that. Um, this line right here, like to the edge of the goalpost. And then if you do it all correctly, that would happen. So that's the first goal. Um, let me think. Okay, um, next thing is the pass... How I pass it over goalie's head. It's a little harder. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. I'm not the best at it, as you can see. There you go. But basically, it's. Um, you're gonna need to set it to one. You want always on. Well, you can keep this on. But off, but I, I was just keeping it on the side. Basically, it just makes it so you can control the ball better. Um, on the side, it doesn't matter. Okay, so um, basically, you're look, you're going up to the goalie, looking up at an angle, and then passing. Depending on the power you have, you might have to charge it up more. But if you're like a power user, you can just basically tap it once, and it should go in. Or even if you aren't a power user. Just depending on how much skill you have. Well, not skill, but how much experience you have with doing this. Like that. But yeah, the farther away you are, the longer you hold the pass. So yeah, that's, that. that's how I do that. And then how I go around the goalie, this is a little trickier. So I usually hold back and right, or back and left. So basically all you're doing is looking at the goalie the whole time while holding back left to go this way. Or back right to go the other way. So usually you, um, if you don't have good gear, you have to get goalie's health down a little, and then you just hold back and back in whichever way you're going, and you can walk into the goal. If you have like some kind of thing that's helps your speed, like the battery power up, or the or your super. You can do it when it's at full health. Yeah, that's about it. For the goal, well, one more goal. Uh, to show you guys. It's the goal where I shoot it up into the air, and he either jumps over it, or it gets stuck behind him. This, I'm a little rusty at, but I'll try to explain as best as I can. So basically, you're just trying to Kind of trying to aim it like you'd be doing a lob, like passing over a goalie's head. But a little higher, because you're trying to get the goalie to jump over it. Which is, uh, let me just do it really quick. Harder to do it when he's at lower health. Okay. So what I like to do... Is some people just shoot it straight. I like to curve it a little, just so that it goes a little slower. And that's and it's a little more common to do. If it's a lot more common to make it if you curve it. So basically, all I'm doing is looking up at an angle, not holding shoot that much, just curving to the left or right, depending on what I want. And if it works. He should jump over it, or it, sh it should get stuck behind him, like in a lot pass, and go in. Okay, so that's all for the goals. 
Um, next is pretty easy stuff. The self pass or drop, as most people call it. So all you're do I've seen people so basically all you're doing is passing up in the air and then tackling into it. Gives you some invincibility if you do it right, like better than other people. And also just helps you cover ground a little more. Without risk being um, without risk of being tackled as much. It's very helpful when you're low on stamina. So basically you just look up into the air a little and tap it. So I've seen people do it like this. I do not suggest doing that. Because you can't see the shadow of a ball. You can see how close it is to your head. The closer it is to the head, the better. So you want to try to get it to where it's about to touch your hair and then you tackle. See? And avoid the hazards. Okay, um so what I like to do is look up and then look down so I can see the shadow of the ball. And I've kind of just used to the timing now. So it's pretty easy to do. I say as I mess up. Um, but yeah, that's that. And then my thought process. Um, let me think. How am I going to explain this? So usually when I get into a server, like the first game or two, I try to learn everybody's play style, their strats and everything. So it's easier to capture them. So let's say one person passes a lot, but doesn't try to score. You would know to stay away from them, because they're probably going to pass. Or if you're close to them, you know to just put pressure on them and try to tackle them. If somebody hogs, well, you know they're not going to pass anyone, so you can just focus on them. If somebody likes to spam, <laughs> there's not much of a counter to that, really. Just be careful around them, because you know they're going to have a power up ready. <laughs> well... Hmm. Okay, so, um... Oh my god. Um... So let's say there's like three defenders here. What I would usually try to do is juke them out, the first one out, by either going for a drop, so they miss it, or just trying to juke them out so they slide past me. And if there's two right here, like one here and one here, I'd either just completely ignore them and go for a shot. But I wouldn't usually. Do that. What I would usually do is do a drop and then shoot. And that was my own goal. Okay. Oops. Anyway. Yeah. So depending on situations, you like you should most likely pass to your teammates, of course. Nobody likes a hog. And um, switch between juking, dodging, and dropping. Over time, you'll get better at this. It's just like a muscle memory. My muscle memory is used to how I play. Which is usually trying to juke out people and switch up my play style a lot. So I might be shooting a lot, and then now that people know that I like to shoot a lot, I would start passing a lot or start trying to get closer to a goal and do different stuff just so that they don't know how to counter. And yeah, that's about all I how that's about how I do this. That's all I do, really. And then just experience. Practice. Practice looks perfect. Anyway, I hope you liked this video, and I hope this helped out. Helped you guys with your um, gameplay, with your everything, really. And also, um, if you're new to Pro League, just don't give up, okay? I know it's pretty hard for all you level 100s. Because of all the crazy level 1000s, 3000s, all that stuff. But once you get better gear, once you start getting used to this league, it's not too hard. Anyway, 
thanks for watching, and I'm probably going to do some kind of level 1100 video next, but yeah, thanks for watching, see you guys later.